YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with a new Project Pan collab that I am doing. I am doing this in conjunction with Skater A True, sorry, I don't know quite how to pronounce your name, and Rachel Winters, I will be linking them both down below. They started this Project Pan on the last round, and they opened it up to people this round, so I was like, hey, I'd love to try this, so they were like, yay, somebody's joining. So we're all doing this together. Anyways, this is the most expensive Project Pan. The idea is you, they picked out a couple of types of items and then we pick out our most expensive versions of this. So if you want to do this, just sign up and let us know down below. I will be linking both Rachel and Skater True. Anyways, first product was a lip gloss. So I picked my Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper at $27. No, I did not pay that much for this. I actually bought this from a friend of mine that no longer wanted it but it's just a clear hydrating lip gloss. I don't know how far down this goes, but once I start being able to see it, I will mark it. But right now it is fully up to brand new when I bought it earlier in February from my friend. Next is a foundation. And I admit I'm cheating a tiny bit here, but I know Skater A True kind of meant the rules a little bit for herself. With, she's trying to pan all her minis this year. So when they did the lip gloss one, she picked out her two most expensive minis. So. I picked out my second most expensive foundation because this is the one I really want to finish this year. It is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. I have one foundation more expensive than this, but I only recently got it. But this one is still $34, so that's plenty expensive. We are starting right here, and I was smart, and I covered my mark with clear nail polish, so maybe it won't rub off. But, um, I... This is a very liquidy foundation. Like, let me show you how liquidy this sucker is. It's drippy. So it's a little annoying to put on. Other than that, I actually do really like the foundation. I've actually done a review on this that I can link down below as well. But uh, I do really like this foundation. It's just very liquidy and a little messy. So I will be happy to get that used up. Next is powder. And I went with my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores pressed powder in the shade translucent. I bought this when it was half off from Ulta last year. $29 is a lot for a powder, but it was like $14.50 and I'm like, that's not that different than drugstore prices. I can pay that. But it is pretty translucent. I don't know if you have darker skin than me, if it might give you a little bit of a flashback. I actually wear this a lot on its own. That's how I used up my mini of it, and that's what I really liked about it, was it does actually blur pores completely on its own. It's awesome. So, yeah. That shouldn't be too hard to use up. Next is a skincare item. I did not pay this. This was sent to me by Influencer. But because it is so expensive, I really want to find a way to use it up. This is the Strivectin Starlight Retinol Night Oil. This is $99. I almost peed myself when I first looked that up when I got it. I was like, oh my god. I, and I'm not any good at using oils. No. So, I really want to get this used up. Unfortunately, no matter how hard I try, I can't see through this. I don't even have a food scale to weigh this on. I used to have one, but I don't seem to have it anymore. I think I might have borrowed it from my mother-in-law and gave it back to her. But uh, this has 30 milliliters or one flowing ounce in it. Um, I'll let you know when it's done. <laughs> if I can even think bright enough to actually like use it. I'm gonna try like mixing it in with my moisturizer because that's probably gonna be the best way for me to use it. I can only use it at night though because it has retinol in it. Like it specifically says retinol night oil on it. And finally, because this is only five items for a lotion, I have my Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. This is the $20 size, but that is still, I'm almost positive, my most expensive uh, lotion. Oh, I love the smell of this. I love it so much. But yeah. It was the next thing I planned to use up anyway once I finish my Body Shop Body Butter that I'm currently working on, which is only a dollar more. Although you get a lot more product than you get in this $20 size. But it's fine. Anyways, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Definitely make sure to check out everybody doing this down below and hopefully I will see you later. Bye.